Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madhupa Lukhani and I'm a corporate professional. So I've been working as an economic analyst slash consultant for the last year and a half um, at a global engineering company. And I am currently starting a new role as a funding analyst for a financial services company. So please do keep up for vlogs on that. So I start um, next week. So I'm really, really excited about that and uh, yeah so if you didn't know in general economic consultants apply techniques techniques of economic um, analysis business analysis to help um, clients achieve their goals they apply evaluation and strategic methods to help clients achieve um, success essentially so in my role um my previous role as an economic consultant essentially what i was doing was um, doing cost benefit analysis for um, mainly public clients. What I was doing was applying um, economic analysis, mainly um, benefit cost analysis um, on infrastructure pro um, projects for mainly um, public um, clients. So for example, a council will want to build um, a new road. They might want to redesign a roundabout and they need government funding for this, but then they need to be able to justify why um, that like their project is necessary because obviously there are many um, other councils that um, require this um, funding from the government. So we come in as economic analysts, we do the assessment and you know gather a lot of data and then come up with a benefit cost um, analysis that basically says yes this project is um, is worthwhile or no this project is not worthwhile and maybe these are the things you need to do to um, make that project more cost effective. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about um, the main factors you need to consider before applying for roles within economic consulting. So if you're a graduate you come out of uni you know some of some of you may know what you want to do some may not. When I came out of university I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do I just knew that I really enjoyed the data, I enjoyed finance and economics. So I was applying for roles within economic consulting, um, 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 within finance, accounting, investment banking. So I was applying for all types of roles. And when I was applying for economic consulting particularly, I wasn't looking at, um, you know, taking into account the industry or the clients or really trying to understand, um, okay, if I'm applying to this company, how will my... Um, duties actually reflect on you know just trying to kind of tally up the job description with the type of company it is so um yeah these are things that are very important to consider before um applying for a role so for example an economic consultant working at an um, engineering company and an economic consultant working at a management consultancy will be very different and will um, acquire different skills and will be on different career pathways so it is essential that you actually read the job description, try and understand, um, you know, the company, the industry, and really, really ask the interviewer several, several questions about your day-to-day -day duties. And I'm going to dive in and actually explain these factors in detail. So the factors you need to consider include industry. So what industry um, are you applying to? So that will affect um, your day-to-day -day duties. Um, you also need to, and yeah, it will affect your day-to-day -day duties and it will also affect um, what kind of skills you acquire and your career pathway. Another um, factor to consider is um, what kind of clients, do, um, the company you're applying for, what, what kind of clients do they deal with? Again, that will affect um, your day-to-day -day duties. Another thing to um, look out for is um, what type of service does that company actually provide? This again will influence your day-to-day -day duties. A good way to understand services obviously go on the company website, try and see the recent projects they've worked on so then it will give you a taste or give you a taste or an idea of the type of projects you will be working on. And another thing, it's not really a factor but um, I kind of think it is in a way, but it's the job description because essentially the job description is going to let you know what what kind of things are you going to be doing so you need to be careful with um job descriptions as um, for example an economic consultant role will have um you know you're going to be doing economic analysis it could say you'll do economic analysis financial modeling and all these cool things and it might be that actually the financial modeling you do is only 10% of the time but maybe in your head you're thinking you want to do it 50% of the time so it's essential to read job descriptions and also ask questions these type of questions in the interview so okay how what type of financial models am I going to be building but let's just start from um the first one so let's talk about industry so in terms of industry there are different areas um, I'm going to categorize in different areas so 
So the type of industry you, um, you work in will determine your day-to-day -day activities. So one area is industry. So this could be just, you know, work as working as an economic consultant in um, an engineering company or pharmaceutical company for, or construction company, for example. Then um, you have financial services company. And then you have management consultancies and the fourth one will be um, government um, bodies. So like me, I worked in industry. So I worked for an engineering company. So with industry, one thing you need to know, working as an economic consultant is going to be solely focused on that industry. So what I mean, so you're going to be doing work on projects that are focused within that industry. So, for example, the previous company I was working for, I was focused, focused more on um transport projects, infrastructure projects. So those were the projects I was doing. So it wasn't like I was working on mergers and acquisitions. I wasn't doing things like that. I wasn't working on competition policy or litigation. So I was solely working more on just assessing cost benefit analysis for transport projects. And also within my role, I wasn't looking at financial statements. So I would say in general, I'm not saying, I'm not speaking for all types of jobs that are out there, but in general, from my experience, when applying for um, economic consultant roles that was within um, industry, so like an engineering companies, um, pharmaceutical companies construction companies usually you don't really look at financial statements you're more more so working on um you know doing basic analysis like cost benefit analysis um there might be some roles where they do financial modeling but in my um, previous role i wasn't really doing financial modeling i was using i was building economic models on excel um you know with assumptions and all of that stuff but i wasn't really doing financial modeling now working as an economic consultant for a financial services company will be um quite different you want to develop your expertise within the financial um services sector so you want to understand financial markets you want to you want to understand financial instruments i would strongly encourage you to apply for um, economic consulting roles um, within financial services um industry so you can actually familiarize yourself with all these um, financial terms and, you know, if you want to build financial models, you if you want to just gain knowledge of the um, financial markets and, you know, end up becoming like a VP at a bank, then definitely this is the area you want to um, work in. So now working at management consultancy, so this could be like the, uh, the big four. Um, for example, um, but there are many management consultancies. So um, what makes management consultancies really a really great place for economic consultants is that you work on a variety of projects. So it's not focused on, you know, transport projects or, um, you know, just like the um, industry. Um, you work on different types of projects. Um, it could be transport. It could be in financial services. It could be in telecommunications. So it could be a variety of projects you're working in. But that being said, some management consultancies are um, specialised, but not all of them. Most of them are not really specialised on one thing, but some of them are. So just be aware of that. But yeah, in general, um, you know, you can work on mergers and acquisitions. Usually there's usually room for um, a lot of financial modelling, a lot more of advanced Excel modelling. Um, a lot of economic um, theories that you probably learned at university. So, you know, doing competition policy. Um, so, yeah, you have a variety of um, um, things to be doing within management consultancy. And I feel like that's where you can develop the most, I believe, because of the just because of how um, the range of projects you can work on. The final area I want to discuss is government programs. So if you're more on the theoretical side and you like um, policy and, um, you know, applying economic analysis, um, I think the government um, programs, graduate programs are really, really good as well. But if you're more into financial modeling, definitely I would encourage you to look at the financial services and management consultancies um, roles in general now another factor i told you to just consider is job descriptions so even regardless of all the, the previous factors i um, mentioned job descriptions are the most important because i mean any of these any role can be no matter what industry it's in it can either be very technical or it could be very much more on the like um theoretical side maybe more reporting and writing so it's very very important that you look at the job description you ask questions so if a role says that they um, you know you do financial modeling you do business analysis try and ask the interviewer to go more into detail 
into more detail about what the role entails what kind of skills are you going to develop do you want to learn um and i know with economic consulting it's very important to develop vba skills um and python and you know having advanced excel so you know you want to ask questions like how much am i going to be using excel um what kind of formulas would i be using on a daily basis will i be building financial models if so how often am i going to be doing this and i know um actually econometrics is actually growing um is actually growing a lot particularly within data science so econometrics is a very very important tool for an economist or an economic consultant to have so you need to look at the job description do you get to perform um um do a lot of econometrics in your role um again all of these things are very important because um you need to think about exit opportunities if you're within a role that doesn't use as much um excel you don't do as much coding i'm not saying you have to in my previous role i didn't do any coding so it's not a necessity but these are just things you need to think about um do you um apply um pure economic theory do you apply enough economic theory in your um role do you apply like for example macroeconomics so because some roles i've seen they want you to have knowledge of econometrics macroeconomics they want you to have done vpa for example if these skills are not going to be gained in the role that you're looking at maybe you may want to um if some of these skills at least are not going to be gained in the role you're looking at you may want to um look at other roles because exit opportunities is extremely important when i look at a role i don't just think oh okay yeah that role i don't just look at that role i think about okay what kind of skills am I going to gain? Where does this take me in, in my career? The way I do is that I look at my dream role and think about all the um, all the requirements for it. And I think, hmm, so these are all the requirements. What am I doing now? Or what can I do to hit those requirements? Or most of the requirements anyway. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. And um, yes, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And do let me know if you have any specific um, videos you want to see or any kind of content you want me to be creating. And do look out for my vlogs coming out um, next week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.